This episode is sponsored by Simply Safe. When we moved into our new house, I needed a lot of different pots and they're so incredibly expensive. And one of the things that I discovered was shopping for pots, for plants at Goodwill and thrift shops. And I have to say, I quickly became addicted. So I do try to go once a month and go shopping at Goodwill for pots. And I also am going to be visiting Twigs and Figs, which is a really cool plant shop in the Ballantyne area of Charlotte. I haven't visited them in a while and they have amazing stuff, so many wonderful plant accessories. So this should be a great episode and I am planning to visit maybe three different Goodwills. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ashley. And as I always say, I am a crazy plant person and proud. I'm in my plant room with over 200 different tropical house plants. So if that brings a smile to your face, make sure to subscribe. That way episodes will show up in your newsfeed. And we also have a wonderful plant community on Instagram that we'd love for you to be part of. Of. Now, speaking of when we first moved into our home, one of the things that was very important to my husband and I was a really good security system. And he decided on a company called Simply Safe. They reached out to say, hey, you know, you might be interested in our product. Would you like to partner up? And I told them, absolutely, we've actually already been a customer for a few years. So I'm really excited to share them with you all. He installed everything himself. It was all very easy to set up. It's backed by the best 24 seven professional monitoring. So police, firefighters, EMT can be dispatched at a moment's notice. We all love the app because we can go on there and at any time see what's going on. We can get a live stream of all of the different cameras in our house. The price point is great, less than a dollar a day. Every system comes with a base station. Just plug it in and it locates and controls all of your sensors. Their entry sensors are easy to install on every type of door or window. The keypad is great. It's small and convenient. You can put it wherever you want in your house. The motion sensors have full room coverage. It will detect intruders and not your pets. On their indoor cameras, you can watch live HD video and audio 24 seven for free from your smartphone, tablet, or computer. Their outdoor cameras are 1080p HD video, plus digital zoom and full color vision at night. Simply Safe is celebrating Father's Day with it being right around the corner and having a wonderful security system really enables myself to not worry so much and just enjoy the rewarding parts of life and parenting. Save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash Ashley Anita to learn more. All right, so now time for some thrifting at a few different Goodwills and also some plant shopping at Twigs and Figs. I always share my haul at the end of the episode. Enjoy. I absolutely adore this shop. It has been so long since I visited. I can't wait to see what they have in stock. First of all, it smells so good in here. They have all sorts of candles and just good vibes, I can tell. Let me see what they have. I'll list off prices as I see them. Um, these alocasia here are regal shields. They're really, really large. They're $56. I see some snake plants back there beautiful bromeliads. Look at those gorgeous pink flowers. <laughs> I believe these are sago palms. This is such a cute little monstera trellis. Fun pottery. We have some self-watering. Another massive uh, alocasia regal shields. Beautiful Monstera Deliciosa. Then over here, there are some really nice whale fin. 
snake plants. Oh, I love these constellation pots. <laughs> these little cuties here. Looks like some house plant supplements. These bromeliads are unique. You don't normally see those ones. Some cacti over here. The curly spider plants are 24. There's a shimmy red peperomia, a peperomia keto. The shimmy red is 12, the keto is 15. Then there are some gorgeous marantas. They are 17. Looks like they have lemon lime back there as well. Some calathea varieties. Magic Star, Makoyana, Vitalla, some peperomias over here. All of these plants vary between 12 and $17, and they're in four inch planters. Neon pothos, golden pothos, looks like enjoy. Some rubber tree over there, aglionema, some hartley philodendron. There's a lemon lime one. This is a good find, uh, Hoya linearis, $50. Look at these nice size planters in six, they're six inch pots. Look at this adorable little cactus garden. Had to point it out, $30. They have some little carry eyes here. Dried flowers, so beautiful. Some Kalanchoe, Adansonii. Nice size philodendron mykins in a six inch planter, it's 35. Ooh, look, this is another philodendron mykins. Look how huge and beautiful this one is, $35. That's good. If I didn't already have two, I would get that. <laughs> Same with the linearis. I have a really big one, otherwise I'd get another one. Um, Berry Illusion, Syngonium 25. Oh, look, another Mykins. So lovely. $20 for these pots. Let me see if they're all. This one's 15, it's smaller. They have some stunning orchids here and they are 25% off. And it looks like they're $60. Monstera Deliciosas. This Calathea Setosa is so lush. Some little string of turtle cuties. I have found that with these, the trick is not to keep the soil too moist. They actually prefer it to dry out somewhat. And then once it starts to look a little droopy, then it needs some water. Little terrarium options. There's six, uh, $6 for the Pilea peperomioides. There's a money tree and some syngoniums. Beautiful Diffenbachia. Peperomia, oh my gosh, look at this cute little mykins in the face pot. Someone needs to come buy that. That is adorable. Monstera dubia here, 75. Look at this awesome terrarium they have. It's so cute. Look at all those plants in there. Carnivorous ones. Um, lots of snake plants. Ooh, they have Hoya australis on planks. The Hoya australis are 60. I spotted some really nice domino peace lilies and they're $25. 
Look at the variegation that they have on these. This is a great find. I'm obsessed with mine, and mine doesn't have nearly this much um, the variegation on the leaves. It also has a really lovely texture and the great thing about this plant is it will let you know when it's thirsty um, The leaves will start to droop a little bit and you know to give it a drink It's incredibly easy care needs basically nothing and it actually can do okay in lower light. I have mine in um, Some good afternoon light. Oh look they have more over here Ooh, These are beautiful. They're really healthy Yeah, those are nice what else do we have? Down here are some coffee plants, then some more aglionemas, some really beautiful calatheas, another peperomia quito. Take a moment to appreciate this beautiful fern. They have these really nice um, propagation stations here as well. They have some different hoyas hanging up and it looks like the macrophylla, the australis, and the pubicalyx are 45. There's also a variegated yetii. Some gorgeous cacti and succulents here. Really healthy. All the plants look to be in fantastic shape. I love their planters. I mean, look at this. My goodness. Ooh. Here are some more. Hoyas. They have the uh, Croniana Splash and some um, Compacta. There's a Black Margin back there for $30. There's some Retusa, some more Australis. So I just saw they do have some Monstera Stiltipicanas and six, six inch planters looking really healthy. They are $60, which is um, fair, you know, I've that's about how much I've seen them for. And I don't see these ever in the Charlotte market, so it's really exciting that they have these here. They also have fuzzy petioles. Absolutely beautiful. Fuzzy petioles are 50. Some more micans, and they have Cebu Blue. The Cebu Blue is 25. They also have Raptophora de Cursiva or Dragon Tail. Be Gosh, there's a lot of Monster Stilts Pagana here. That's so exciting. If I hadn't just got one on my Raleigh Farmer's Market trip, I would definitely be getting one of those. <sighs> Look at these little cuties. My goodness. Some great plants here today. I'm so impressed. Oh, they have some blue star fern, one of my all-time favorite ferns so easy and if i forget to water it it doesn't die immediately like other ones friday is 20 low rider is 16. this one looks like a bambino oh they have maharani the maharani is 30. and is this dragon scale yes dragon scale similar to silver dragon um just a little bit different 75. Little philodendron atom over there. There's an anthurium. Uh, it says cobra. Neat, twenty dollars. And some philodendrons. Um, some really beautiful rex begonias. Thirty and down. Look at this red one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and there's some huge ones here. These in the big hanging baskets are fifty. Gotta take a look at these ferns. Ooh, they're smart too. They have a little humidifier going. I have to say these fluffy ruffles, they are just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Silver Tree Lady 25. Austral Gem 25, Crocodile. Ooh, this looks like a, uh, a variegated Boston. Okay, maybe I need to get that one. <gasps> but me and ferns. Fern tiger stripe. That is so cool. All right, I may end up getting that one. Staghorn heart fern. So many beautiful ones. They do have where you can build your own terrariums and they have all sorts of really great terrarium plants mixed in here. Tradescantia, Peperomias, Purple Passion, Bird's Nest Fern, Heart Fern. I mean, there's all sorts of really fun stuff in here. 
Syngonium. They even have variegated strawberry begonias. These are $5 each. Fabulous succulents. It would be worth, you know, going through and taking your time looking through everything. They have in their cacti as well, like Domino, Old Man. They have variegated Apuntia, as you can see here. They have Ferro Cactus. I mean, so much great stuff. This Goodwill is so packed, but it's because it's one of the best ones in the Charlotte area. It's in a Weddington area of Charlotte, and they always have amazing stuff. This is always a good area to try to find wicker baskets and that kind of thing, um, or plant stands. Let's see what I can find. There's this big coffee table. What is this? Wow. You could make this into some sort of like terrarium, except that it has the wood on the outside, which wouldn't be ideal. But this wood glass cabinet is $7.99. Could definitely put some plants in there. That's perfect. It's in good shape. I'm not sure what this was originally for, but you could definitely hang some plants on it. I see a lot of people using coat stands and hat hat racks for as plant stands. This one is this one is $4.99. I think that's that's a cool find. This is also another option. Um, these C I think they're originally for CDs, told CDs, but they're also great to put your plants on. You could hang your plants on it or put your plants on there and they're usually just a couple of, of dollars and I've seen them at multiple Goodwills. They're perfect for plants. This place is so crazy. I can't even tell you. Um, <laughs> uh, now something like this would be perfect to, you know, put an air plant in for instance. Hang that up, put a cute little air plant in there. <gasps> Boo. usually find some really great stuff to repurpose for plants. I'm a real sucker for any kind of glassware. And they have a lot of glassware here. Also another great option um, for plants. You know, a lot of people will use coffee mugs to put their plants in or use as a cover pot. So there's usually some good stuff you can find thrifting. Wow, this is so pretty. $3.99. Ooh, planter spotted. This is a nice one. $2.99. This is nice. Flowers and garden, $2.99. These would be fun for propagations. I do see that they have a lot of just um, plain pots here. You know, maybe it was a cover pot on a plant that was sold at Lowe's uh, and they're selling it for four dollars. I mean, to me, I could go get a brand new pot that looks just like that for the same price or less. So I always try to find like the crazy funky stuff at, at thrift places or, you know, unique pots. Again, here's another one, $3.99. Eh, I don't know. This little metal one is $1.99. I mean, they're great, nothing wrong with them, but I could probably find the same ones for less. Look at this little, now something like this. 
Again, I can't really put a plant in there, but if this came off, maybe I would. Because you can't find that everywhere. Look at this cute little teapot, $2.99. I don't really need another plant cover teapot, but that one's really cute. That's nice. Just looking through. Again, there's lots of just plain ones if you wanted something like that. They have the funniest stuff here. Oh my goodness, they have this little cauldron, Harry Potter. <laughs> it has a fake plant in it, but I can take the fake plant out and just use this for one of my plants. I love it, $1.99. Little heart pot, $2.99. This is a cute one for Christmas time. $3.99. There's so much stuff here. It's like kind of hard to look through it all. This might even be a little too much for me, which is saying a lot. But you, I think that's meant to be a planter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> $3.99. Bunny bungalow. It's probably a collector's edition. It's cute for Easter. But, oh my gosh. <laughs> that's funny. What is this? Goodness me. There's this little rack that you can hang towels on or your blankets. It's $3.99 and you could hang plants on there with solid wood. All right, let's take a look. I see all sorts of cute stuff. Um, all right, first up, flamingos cooking or gardening? I don't know. They have very interesting shoes on and I'm really feeling their outfits <laughs> this is what I'm talking about amazing cannot find that anywhere else here we have a little pair an assortment of planters $1.99 that's actually a good deal what else we got got some interesting stuff back there they're full of styrofoam but you could do that do something with that if you wanted to Beer fund. <laughs> it's interesting. A little something. Five ninety nine. Look at this cute little apple. Two ninety nine. Little gray one back here. Looks like it might be from Lowe's or Home Depot. Little heart coffee pot. Six ninety nine. Rabbit. 
There's a lot of Easter stuff here. Ooh. Okay, this is actually really cute. $4.99. That's awesome. Looks like they have a lot of things from like stores. These little baskets down here, they're $20 and it comes with three. It's a nice one. $3.99. It's more of an outdoor, outdoor planter. There's a lot of furniture here. This cute little coffee table is $45. It's a lot of um, like tables. This is a new Goodwill that just opened up in the Matthews area. They have so much here, and it's actually not crowded like all the other Goodwills have been. <gasps> Found these cute little socks, I may have to get them. <gasps> Look at these little pigs. There's so much good stuff, this would be a nice bookend. Ooh, that's pretty back there. <gasps> Ooh, this is nice. I know it's a candle holder, which is great, but it's also a nice cover pot. This is nice. Ooh. $1.99. These are interesting. There is so much cute stuff here. Like, not even specifically plant stuff, just in general. Little signature on the bottom. A lot of baskets here. It would be so fun and interesting to like learn more about thrifting, not just plant stuff, but really know like what's great quality, what's valuable, what to keep an eye out for. I mean, I know there's such an industry for that. Cause that, you know, it's fascinating. You can find really good stuff. I really like this unicorn. This little flower pot's $2.99. Okay, that was a huge success. I'm really excited to share my haul from my shopping. So first up, I'm going to share the plant that I picked up from Twigs and Figs. It is a fern tiger stripe. How did I not know about this plant and that it existed? It is so beautiful. First of all, it's like very, very lime green colored in person. It's just so incredibly beautiful. And the leaves, um, have a lot of like striping on it. As you can see here, 
Kind of, at first I thought it was a variegated maybe Boston fern, but it's not, it's a tiger stripe fern. I am obsessed. Now this fern is going to need to be watered regularly. I mean, the first thing it wanted when I got home was to be watered. Look at that. I can't get over how beautiful this is. I'm definitely going to have to put this somewhere I can keep an eye on it. Uh, it's not going to like being dried out. Again, you, for me, how I can tell if a plant's gonna need watering, first of all, I know it's a fern, but uh, you can usually tell a plant needs to be watered because the leaves are very thin. Um, and so the leaves on this fern are very thin, so it's gonna need to be watered because it can't hold on too much water. Now this one was $25. And these are really easy. You just need to make sure that they don't get too dried out. Otherwise it'll drop all of its leaves and die, which would be such a shame because this is such a beautiful plant. If you have any additional care tips, let me know. Now, as far as lighting, uh, the other ferns that I have, I have a blue star fern. Now up here, I have a couple ferns. I have a blue star fern and a rabbit foot fern. Now, neither of those ferns need much light. Like, as you can see, they're in the back of the room. They're all the way up. So I'm guessing this one needs about the same amount of light. Um, it would be okay in lower light conditions. Let me know if that's correct. I think that's correct though. And yeah, so I'm really excited to share my thrifting haul and the cool planters that I found. First up, I wanna share my favorite. I'm all about enjoying the good stuff first. I grew up in the Caribbean, so we had hurricanes all the time. We had such bad ones in St. Martin that a lot of times we didn't know if we would have a house at the end of it. And my parents kind of instilled in us, drink the good wine first, because you never know what tomorrow brings and enjoy life in the moment and that's always stuck with me so ever since then i'm like the good stuff first so this is the first one that i absolutely love now all of the pots that i got i still have to clean them out i sanitize everything when i bring it back from goodwill because you just never know coming from somebody's house but this is really really cool um it, you can tell it's been used before but someone even stopped me at goodwill and asked me where i found this one because it was definitely a hit I love the colors. I can put multiple plants in here. This one was $4.99. I just thought that was a great deal. Absolutely love it. I also picked up both of these pots. These are $1.99 each. I just thought they were absolutely beautiful. Terracotta, um, and they don't have drainage holes, unfortunately, but for $1.99, these are great cover pots. I really liked this one. I think it's really cute. Um, it's a candle holder, which would be actually really lovely to have a candle in here and have the light shining through each of the stars, but it's also a really nice cover pot. It was $1.99. I have more pots, but I got the two little ducks that I found, and unfortunately this one's little foot is chipped, but I just thought these were the cutest things. They have markings on the bottom of them. They're 99 cents each. They're so cute. I like how each one is just like a little bit different. I don't know, you guys know I get crazy stuff. Trash-tastic, <laughs> that's what we call it on this channel. All right, still have more to go. I found this amazing cauldron planter. So I'm going to, it has a fake plant in there, so I'm just going to kind of smash out the rocks and I'm sure there's styrofoam underneath and I'm just gonna take all this out and then I'll have this adorable Harry Potter cauldron planter, $1.99. You guys know I'm a huge Potter head, obsessed, obsessed. <laughs> I thought this one was really cool as well, $2.99. I loved the color of it. I just think it's really nice. It has little feet on it, just a fabulous cover pot. And the last thing I picked up was this really neat basket. This would be perfect to put a plant in. I just liked this basket more than some of the other baskets I saw. There were so many baskets, it was hard to choose. There was one thing that I almost got, which was the planter that had the flamingos that were gardening in their shorts and golf pants with their flip flops on. <laughs> But I resisted. I was very proud of myself for resisting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I always have a lot of fun on these thrifting videos and plant shopping, of course. Now let me know if there's anything you would have picked out, if you've had any good thrift finds or plant shopping finds lately. I always love hearing from you. And if you'd like to see future shopping episodes show up in your newsfeed, make sure to subscribe. And again, as I always mention, we do have a great community on Instagram as well. Lastly, again, huge thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring this episode.
Save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash Ashley Anita to learn more. All right, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.